the output shaft the gearbox um, we're replacing the shaft and um, there's a good reason why uh, it takes a lot of welly um, because this it drives this this cog which drives the chain which drives the bike and as you accelerate bump you know it's uh, it's stressing these splines here and um, and you can see, just uh, focus in what's happened. Okay, if you look at the width of that there, there. Look at the width of that and then go down and look at the width there of that. You can see that it's much thinner. And that side, the opposite side from this side there, it's all been pushed across. Yeah, you can see that there. So that is the correct thickness, and that is too thin. It's been deformed. All right. And so what happens is, just uh, focus. What happens is that um, if we put this on here, at this point here, and um, There's a, there's a bit of play, because, I mean, this is an old pinion anyway, you know, I mean, it's, uh, it's so, so this is worn anyway, so it's not new, but it's quite tight. As soon as we go down to the middle bit, look at that. Yeah, so every time you accelerate, bang, it's got so much play, it, it can, boom, hit into the metal and so the more deformed it is the more deformed it will get it accelerates and uh, I can see it's no good so we bought a new one and um, you can see here that the width of them there is perfect and that's going to be height one presumes um, let's see yeah that's good Still, but it's worn is the pinion. Remember, this is not the new. This is not the new pinion. So that with the new pinion, it's going to be even better. Okay, and it should be tight. All right. So that's why we've 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 changed. We've bought a new chain, new pinion, new shaft. And uh, I reckon that's fairly typical. You know, um, that's required.